realized that everybody is tired and I realized this because people have very short fuses and sometimes it's not because they're just like annoyed it's really just because they're tired and for the most part of today I kind of slept because I was up from I was up till 2 a.m. and then naturally my body wakes up very early so I got up before 6 so I've been up from 6 and then I was running around all morning doing a lot of crazy stuff <laughs> and when I um, finally decided that I was gonna take a nap that quick nap ended up being like three hours long but it's like I was really tired and I needed it and when was the last time you actually took a nap that you needed when was the last time you had the opportunity to take a nap you know it's like sometimes I look at these little things where it's just like we are just forced to work so hard sometimes and do a lot of things when it comes to just maintaining life and what we don't understand is that we have to give ourselves a break and that's kind of one of the other things i'm learning with this challenge that i'm doing every day it's one being flexible enough to think on the fly and be like all right so i didn't get what i want or today didn't go as i wanted or as i planned however i can still make it beneficial to me by doing little stuff here and there that will make me creative or me feel like i did something creative and this whole challenge what it's doing it's it's forcing me to like build systems and that's the key what i'm realizing but i'm excited about that but systems when you have a system it's like it doesn't matter how hectic your day is or how relaxed the day is you're gonna find time to do that and that's always been something i've wanted to figure out because I watch, a, again, I watch a lot of videos and YouTube videos about, you know, how habits don't really work. But um, you should learn how to do systems instead. And I never understood the concept of systems. But I think it's starting to rear its head where I'm now beginning to understand what that actually means and yes i'm currently in the bathroom in the tub sitting down because it's a quiet place it's actually my favorite quiet place if that's weird or whatever but it's my quiet place sometimes where i go and just not be bothered by life or anything and I realized that that made me prioritize my self-care in terms of I have a sacred place where I can just disappear to sometimes for hours just you know at my bathroom's very cozy like I will sit on like my meditation um, cushion and just write in my journal or just like do stuff on the computer it's like I, I turn the bathroom into like a whole office <laughs> sometimes and that's what worked for me but you know it's like self-care self-care is important and I feel like a lot of people misunderstand self-care because they're thinking that self-care basically means this elaborate thing where you have to put on like a day to 
pamper yourself and anything and it's like no you don't necessarily need to do that self-care means me being in the bathroom for some peace and quiet and just locking myself away from the hustle and the bustle of every day that's self-care for me and when i'm tired it's like i have to prioritize these moments where i feel like i'm looking out for myself and that's what self-care is self-care is looking out for yourself that's that's literally wow that just came to me it's like that's literally the easiest way of putting that self-care is looking out for yourself i should make a t-shirt <laughs> but i realized that once i started looking out for myself that a lot of things that i would tolerate i don't do them anymore and one I go to bed really early like really early sometimes eight o'clock and my whole body is like yep I'm ready to go to sleep and sometimes I'll be up at 11 12 o'clock and I'm just like I don't know where I get all this energy from I just know that I'm up and I go with my my body's flow but it's like most of the time eight nine o'clock I'm wrapped up in my bed ready to go to sleep and when I push past a certain time in the night whether it's things that I'm doing a project I'm finishing or if I'm helping somebody it's like that pushing over into the time where I normally get my rest and I realize that whenever I do that I'm either groggy the next day or I don't get to do what I want the next day because I'm so tired that I need to sleep and me understanding that about my body makes me choose situations where it's like hey if if I'm gonna agree to go out and socialize then this better not pass a certain time because after that certain time now you move it over into my time and my time is important you might stay out however long you want but that's just not me i love my bed i love to sleep and i love being rested and i naturally wake up early so it doesn't make any sense for me to stay up all night in order to only get two three hours of sleep to be up again because my body once it hits a certain time in the morning my body's like Hey, hello. Get the hell up. We're not staying in this damn bed. And I'm just like, oh, can you just give me five more minutes? And it's like, no, we're moving now. So I learned that through pushing myself to the limit and learning to understand the signs and the the language my body is telling me like hey you can't do that and that is why I now prioritize my self-care over anything that I'm doing and it's like if I have some big project that I'm working on if I have some socializing event that I have to go to or if I want to you know just do something fun and if my body is like mm -mm, we're not doing that then guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna listen to my body and i'm not gonna do anything and i understand that a lot of you know you might not have the opportunity to do that all the time i get it we don't always get to do everything that we want on our time but if you don't prioritize yourself, somebody else go make <laughs> somebody else go make you work in their stuff that they're prioritizing. So it's like it's either you prioritize yourself or somebody's gonna use you to prioritize themselves. <sighs> it's all crazy. But today I realized that 
even when my body is like, hey, we don't have to push that hard, I can listen to my body and be like, all right, we're not gonna push that hard. We're gonna rest and we're gonna take our time. And because I committed to doing this every single day and today is literally day three, which it's been wild that I'm on day three right now. And this, I'm loving this by the way, where it's like, I still, again, yesterday, I was saying how excited I was. I'm still excited today. And I know I'm still gonna be excited tomorrow and I'm gonna be excited next day after that because this is fun. And I'm already learning things. I'm already learning that, hey, if I make the music, which I do first, I just like, I feel how I'm feeling. And I'm like, okay, the type of music that I want Let's go with these type of songs. And then I start putting them together on my phone in um, GarageBand. And then once I have something like solid where I'm like, I like this, then I'm like, hey, I'm gonna use that to do the intro of the video or just like have sounds throughout the video where I'm like, hey, that's my creative part. So I, I like to work on the music first to get the feel of it and then whatever else happens throughout the day that inspires some thought and makes me want to talk about it i'm just like hey that makes sense for me to to voice my opinion on this now and that's what i'm doing